G'day everyone and welcome to VS Closings. I'm Lockham Madison. Now what VS Closings are for tonight is James Hood against your odds 2000 VS from 7 Sport and here we go. sees his team in trouble and he'll be playing the four line, he'll, he'll throw himself on the ball to get the momentum going our way. You know. Don't see that, that, that many traits in, in, in players these days like that. With him on to is Alessio, Hurd's running the boundary line. He just kept it in play. Line back to Carousel. Come on! I thought it was one of the best performances I've seen as a footballer. So Phoebe comes wide for Nichols. Oh! In short, when you've had a grand son like that, you're proud of him, match. That's me. If dreams are meant to have happy endings, then this one had the happiest of them all. For the closing 20 minutes of the grand final, Heard knew what was coming after that siren sounded. Chances are, as he wandered about the MCG during that final quarter, with the game safely locked away, he thought about all the pain, all the doubt, all the fear that this might have passed him by and he smiled and he laughed Kevin Shipley drawing his dick on his has the most successful club in over 100 years of his famous club and they've won their 16th premiership and there's a better story for James Hurd This premiership had been a long time coming for this group of players Rarely have flags been so meticulously planned. Rarely have such plans been so effectively realised. The tag for the final chapter then came. James would win the prestigious Norm Smith medal awarded to the best player on the ground. Teammates, you're the best bunch of players you can ever meet. It's my wife, Tony. I'm a little baby stepping in. This is for you guys. Thank you. We have a lot of people um, there that we can play for our, the game for our wife, our, our mother, our father, our, our kids. Sometimes you just got to do something for your family. Just, you know, football just takes it out of you. I wasn't crying. I must look like I'm crying, Kevin. Um, I, I was. I was emotional. I was very emotional, but I wasn't um, crying. But it, it was. A, it was such an important moment to me, and to have these two people, special people, there with me was, was pretty good. There has been much said of this magnificent season. There's been much said also of this Essendon team's rightful place in history. With James Hurd still realising his dream, who knows what lies in store for this angelic footballer? and this powerful football team. Well, I mean, there's no real reason why um, we can't have a successful next year or two, and he should be captain then. So I think with the years that he's missed, maybe he just might get a double reward. Whatever goes, James sets and he gets. So I'll be interested to hear his next one. And if James stands up, then I think there's every likelihood that the club will stand up and will be very, very competitive in 2001. I wouldn't rule anything off for James. I don't know, he might be running for Prime Minister in a couple of years, I don't know. If he keeps you know, going ahead the way that, that he always has and, and facing football in the way that he has and works hard at it, I can't see why he can't continue to succeed and, and get as much enjoyment out of the game as he has up to this day. I'm glad I went through what I went through now because of Saturday or because of this year. Um, this year, I, I just appreciate the players I played with 
and the team and, and I appreciate the success we've had on the weekend so much more than I've, I've appreciated anything else in my life, you know, just because it, it took so, so much hard work to get to. Yeah. And that's him at Times Fears Closings. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next Friday night. It's only on Patterson AFL. Good night.